what we learn in terms of our culture. If not, they're going to learn whatever they are exposed to. Yes. So if yes. we start inculcating some of our cultural values and our cultural way of cooking, our way of uh, doing things to them while they are growing up, then we go a long way, even though they are far away from home, some of them still do speak the, the traditional dialect. Some yes, of them of are able yeah. to still eat our traditional food, yeah. uh, which you will not find in the mainstream restaurants here in the United States. So our culture is not just about our clothing. It's mm -hmm. one of our culture uh, ed effects is our uh, clothing. And then we have our food, and then we have our dance, mm -hmm. and then we have our language, and then we have our style. And our style is fly. Yes. And it is <laughs> well, you look very fly tonight, I must Thank say. Thank you so much. Thank From you From so head much. to toe. Thank you what, so what does the color signify? Yes. So, um, these colors have a lot of significance mm -hmm. in, in our uh, tradition. Yes, I was born into it, into these, because our ancestors mm -hmm. started this. But um, when you look at every single African, you know, um, 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 regalia, mm -hmm. it is filled with color. Yes. That Always. color, especially the print, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it shows light. It brings light. It shows, it brings peace. It shows peace. Mm -hmm. It shows um, the way our, it demonstrates um, colonialism in the blood if you notice in every African flag, mm -hmm. you see red on yes. it. Color. It's a symbol mm -hmm. of color. It's a symbol of blood. It's a symbol of pain. Mm -hmm. It's a symbol of what our ancestors have gone through, through slavery, right? Yeah. And then if you notice, there's the green. The green signifies um, hope. Hope. Right? Yes. It For signifies it love. Mm -hmm. It signifies uh, peace. Right, it signifies um, 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 some kind of um, um, unity amongst us. After all is said and done, yeah. after the slavery four hundred years ago, after the pain, after you know recolonialism, after imperialism, after mm -hmm. the scramble for Africa, right? As though we were some pieces that had to be put together like like pieces of cloth. Right? Yeah, yeah. We are still standing tall. Yeah, it represents in survival. our beautiful colors. Survival. Yes. Yeah. We are survivors. Right. And we will continue to thrive. We will continue to fight for full and complete freedom yes. from the West. Of course. Of course. Yeah. And, and why not? And why not? So so where in Africa, because you, you mentioned Africa, and of course Africa is a beautiful, very large continent. Um, you know, I enjoy, I went to, I've been to Ethiopia, I enjoyed my time in Ethiopia. So oh, where yes. in Africa would, you know, as you mentioned, what countries in particular has has your your organization? Well, our organization is, uh, is from Cameroon, uh, okay. and it's specifically from the Northwest region of the Southern Cameroons is where we emanate from. So that's mm -hmm. West Africa. Okay, in West Africa. Correct. Okay. So what about um, other parts of Africa? How, how do they play a part or can play a part? Well, what they gained, like I said earlier, our roof is on fire. And so we're calling on all other Africans, all okay. Caribbeans that are here, and other sympathizers, not necessarily only Africans, um, any sympathizers, anyone that feels the need uh, that every single human being is entitled to the basics when it comes to health care. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the basics, we are not talking about um, open heart surgery. We're talking about vitals. Yeah. Yeah. Down to the nitty gritty of vital science. Mm -hmm. If we can have these people be able to know exactly what their blood pressure is so they can mm -hmm. take precautions mm -hmm. and not die from a stroke because right, of right. uncontrolled high blood pressure, which they don't know about. There are a lot of people that just suffer a stroke, and that is when we find out that they are having, they have high blood pressure, mm -hmm. because they just have never been able just to never, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the they don't have the needs. Piece, that yes. whole, that and which is the other part, yeah. which is the other part of this, this uh, project, is that we're not only gonna ship over this basic equipment, 
and supplies, medical supplies to these health centers. We're actually going to have an educational piece attached to it. Yeah. And we are partnering with well reputable organizations that are on the ground because that would be that is the next question that a lot of people are asking. Yeah, how, how are you going to implement exactly, this project? Exactly, so yes. we are partnering with well reputable organizations that have done things like this in other parts of Cameroon that are okay. going to shop around and help us with the implementation and assure that we have accountability, that the funds that we collected here went to a good course and went to the course for which the funds were collected for. Yeah. It's very yeah. easy for things to just disappear and you know funds just go mm -hmm. and, and end up in people's pockets and, and then the, the people for which we're targeting really don't get the benefit. Yeah. But we can assure yeah. everyone that if you contribute a dime, we are going to be accountable for it. We're going to be able to show you how it has been put to use. We're going to show you the lives that have been impacted by your contribution mm -hmm. so that when next we come and we say we want to expand this, this, this philanthropist uh, uh, activity, that you'll be more yeah. than willing to say, yes, I saw what they did the other time. I'm going to dig deeper yes, this exactly. time. Well, they see, that's, that's, that's the thing. A lot of people like, you know, the, they don't mind giving, but they want right. to make sure it's going to yep. the right places and yep. to the right people. Right. I know that, um, um, Lawrence, you've done some mission trips. You know, we did mission, we did Lawrence's on mission trip. So mm -hmm. is that something that you plan on doing in the future? Because that's really, oh, yes. you know, the hardcore oh, of yes. having a team go yep. down there yep. and right. educate and help and do so. In Gibbon, now, we, yeah. we do have a whole lot of medical personnel that mm -hmm. are based here in the United States. Yes. And, and and some of them do take trips back there. Yeah. And they, it's because they go back there and they see some of the things that are going on and they're bringing us the feedback and we're mm -hmm. taking action. Mm -hmm. right. So we, we would have some of our members that are of the medical profession that would be following up, that would be you know going on mission trips. We all as a group cannot go, but right, we can right. dedicate a few that Absolutely. can go there yes, and make exactly. sure that, you know, uh, not only do we have the organization on the ground that is going to help us with implementation, mm -hmm. but that one of ours or a few of ours mm -hmm. can actually go there and say, I was there and I yeah. saw it. It's not just these videos that they sent you. It's not just these pictures that they sent you, but I was there and the people appreciated mm -hmm. what you've done for yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, always, always. So, um, okay, so we are... Um, we are coming up to time. So go ahead and tell us where we can find, do you have a social media, Instagram website, um, email? Let's start with you, sir. Where can we find you well, we can, and we the do, organization? We do, we do have a, 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 a website, and uh, there is also, um, we, we have uh, different ways by which you can contribute mm -hmm. uh, to the airport. Um, we would. We have a flyer that is already going out yep. there. We yep. can make that available. Yeah, we're gonna make that available to you all so you can post it and anyone that is interested can go on there. It has all the information that you're gonna need. Okay. It has the, 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 the event location, the time, it has contact information if you need to reach out to any of the executive members or the, the organizing committee um, and, and do your contribution or you know, be it in ideas, mm -hmm. be it in cash, in whatever way you can yeah. support the effort. It is welcome. We, we welcome ideas. Yeah. Maybe we think we have it all made. Maybe you can come up with something better. Right. So please right. do not feel like you only have to contribute financially. Financially is good, but also your ideas, your support. Even yeah. just calling us and say, I appreciate what you guys are doing. Right. Keep doing it. It's encouraging. Okay, so good. please. <laughs> All right, sure. We will definitely yeah. share the flyer. And Miss Vivian, where can we catch you? I know you have your Instagram. Tell us where we can find you. <laughs> so I am. I am good on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. I'm viral. You know, uh, vibrant <laughs> and everything on Twitter because that's that's where you find uh, those serious people, right? Yeah. A lot. I'm on Instagram, but I'm not really, you know, I don't come live like that. 